and girls, a few weeks ago we talked about the word vitamin. Remember, a vitamin is simply something that helps your body to regulate the processes that your body does, whether it's digestion or the thoughts it produces or using oxygen in your body to go to the heart and help you breathe. There's all sorts of processes in your body and vitamins are involved in making those happen. So we've talked about vitamin A, vitamin C, and today we're gonna to talk about vitamin K. And a really good example of this, especially at holiday time, is a pomegranate. Pomegranates have a lot of vitamin K and actually they come from a place called Persia. Now Persia, it's really far away, don't worry, you, have to, you don't have to go all the way there to get your pomegranates. You can find them in your local grocery store for around a dollar. So this week we're gonna talk a tiny bit about the benefits of vitamin K. For instance, if you've ever had the unfortunate experience of cutting your finger or maybe getting an owie, right, or something that cuts and bleeds, you will see red blood cells start to come to the surface, right, creating that color red. Well, those red blood cells are really important. The amazing thing is in order for the blood to stop coming to the surface or to stop bleeding, right, you want to make sure the blood, those little red blood cells start to stick together and create a protective layer on your skin. That's called coagulation. It's just a big word for red blood cells sticking together. So in order for that to happen, you have to have vitamin K. It actually helps to be able to form that protective layer so your body and your skin can heal. The other thing vitamin K does is it makes the bones in your body very strong, right? Bones are created from the time you were born and they get stronger and stronger. Vitamins and minerals are essential to helping your bones stay strong so they don't break easily. Let's make a few recipes today how you can get pomegranates in your diet. Remember last year, we talked a little bit about how to get the pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate. So once you've actually cut it into four different sections, take a piece of it, use your, use your fingers or your thumbs to kind of pry it open. Now be careful because these can kind of stain your clothes. So usually I make sure I'm using a paper towel or something that I can just toss after I'm done. You can tip it towards the bowl. Actually, you can even immerse it in the water and start bringing out all these delicious seeds. Because the white, again, the white skin will actually float to the top. See this white skin that kind of separates these? It's like they're in their own little rooms or something. So as we kind of get them out of these little pockets, there we go. They're gonna float to the, actually the white stuff will float to the top and the pink will remain at the bottom. So it's gonna be really easy for us to use it. So once you have them all out, besides eating them plain, which is obviously my favorite way to eat them, mm, they're so good. Here's a really fun way too. So I have a half a glass of juice, right? About 25 grams of sugar. That's a really fun way to get half the sugar in your juice is to just add a little bit of sparkling water. It's just plain, no sugar added. And then what you can do is add some of your fun little pomegranates. And it's like a little treat at the bottom of a glass, right? So this is really fun because some of them actually float. Check out that close up. It's really, really fun. And then when you have your drink, mm, you get a little pomegranate seed with it. So that's a really fun way to add fruit to a drink. Right? The other way that we can do it is you can make a little parfait or take your favorite cereal, which for instance, granola works very well. Put, put a little granola in the bottom of a bowl and then take your yogurt. And sometimes if you use the thicker yogurt, like the Greek yogurt, it has a lot more protein, right? So we have the carbohydrates from the cereal, then we have the protein from the yogurt, and then we can top it with our delicious pomegranates. Now, another thing you might see is pomegranates in a salad. So you could top it on, oh, whether it's spinach or arugula or romaine, any kind of lettuce you like, drizzle a little bit of your favorite dressing, add some pomegranates in there, and it's a beautiful addition of color too to any salad that you want. So regardless of how you like pomegranates, get them in your diet this week. Now remember, share it with us on Facebook or Instagram and hashtag Yoga Me Do so that you can share your favorite way to eat healthy with other people. All right, join me in the other room for yoga. Boys and girls, we're gonna play a quick game and it's called the five senses, okay? Remember, touch, taste, smell, see, and hear, right? So what we're gonna do is I want you to imagine, first of all, just sit crisscross applesauce. Relax your body, make sure your muscles are relaxed. Now all I want you to do is to be able to first of all focus on what you see. Don't tell anybody. Just look around and notice what you see. Okay, that's sight. 
Now, notice what you smell. Good. Notice what you hear. Notice, what, notice the taste in your mouth. Good. Last one is touch. Touch your skin. See what it feels like. Do you have goosebumps because you're cold? Or is it smooth and relaxed? How about the material on your pants? Is it bumpy? Is it rough? Is it thick material or thin? Right? Now this might seem like a silly game, but whenever you take the chance to focus on your five senses, all of a sudden you've given your mind a chance to go on a little vacation. Right? It's like, it's like you've taken notes on the same piece of paper all day long, and then when you take a minute to daydream or focus on your five senses, you turn the piece of paper over and it's blank. You get to start over again, right? It's like taking a big deep breath. So it's a really fun thing for your mind to do. You can do it in the car, if your brother and sister are driving you crazy, or if you're nervous about a test, or if you can't get to sleep at night. Some of these things that might be difficult for your body to relax, do the five senses. See, taste, touch, smell, and hear. Okay? Notice those things and it'll give your brain a little bit of a chance to reset. All right? So today we're gonna do a couple of sun salutations and I want you to pick one of your five senses to pay attention to. It could be listening, it could be seeing, it could be hearing, it could be what you, ta what you taste in your mouth, right? Or it could be noticing what you touch when your hands come to the floor. Don't tell anybody what you're gonna focus on, it's just for you, okay? Here we go. So find your breath, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale the shoulders up to the ears, and roll them back. One more time, inhale them up, roll them back. Okay, let's start our sun salutations. Keep that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Step or jump back, holding here. Lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, back to down dog. Good, five deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Pay attention to those five senses and the one that you're focusing on. So if I was focusing on touch, I would notice what it feels like to touch the floor. Kind of press your muscles or your feet into the floor. Good. When you're ready, slowly walk the feet up. Hold it here, reach for opposite elbows, and take three big breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good, slowly roll up. Giving space for each one of your vertebrae as you stand up. Inhale up. And exhale back down. Okay, we've got two more. Are you ready? Inhale up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, back to down dog. This time, just two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, look up to the hands, place a bend in the knees, and jump up. Nice. Roll up a little more quickly. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale back down. Okay, one more. A little bit faster. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Step or jump back and lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Big deep breaths. Three of them here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Nice job. Bend the knees. Come all the way up and drop it back into your final stretch. 
Press your hips forward, drop your head back, and take a big deep breath. Inhale, exhale. And release, nice job. Let's try our five senses for our day drink today. Okay, here we go. So relax your muscles. Rest your hands in a place that you won't notice them. <sighs> Relax your face muscles. And whatever one of the five senses you chose to focus on, let that be in your mind. Maybe it's what you're touching. Maybe it's what you're smelling, what you're hearing. Just focus on that for two more minutes. and turning over that piece of paper so you can start fresh. Your mind doesn't forget anything on the other side, but it just gets to start now. Good. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Move your head from side to side. Open your eyes. Nice job. Enjoy your fruit this week and remember to hashtag your favorite way to eat your fruit and share it with all the people you love. Enjoy and we'll see you next week on Yoga Me Do.